guys, so this is going to be my 10 week update. I am 10 weeks and 4 days. Yeah, 4 days. I'm sorry I'm recording this video late. Um, it is a few days late, but we were just really busy with the weekend and it being Mother's Day yesterday and all that good stuff. So again, this video is going to be late. Um, I really do plan on getting these videos to a state where I can get them up every single Friday. So I did go for my ultrasound and stuff, so I did get my weight taken there. My weight there was 121.6. This week is the size of a plum, about 1.2 inches long, and about 0.15 ounces in weight. The baby has grown small indentations on their legs this week that will soon form into the knees and the ankles. Their tiny little arms even have elbows that are bending at this point, so that's really cool. So their stomach and kidney are kicking into full effect, and they are now digestive juices and um, their kidneys are now producing urine. So that's pretty crazy that their bodies at 10 weeks are already so developed. So as far as prenatal ultrasounds go this week, I did have an ultrasound. They had an early dating ultrasound. It wasn't a long ultrasound. Um, it was actually probably only like 10 minutes long for the actual ultrasound. So we weren't even in there very long. We our ultrasound on, on Thursday, May 7th. So this past Thursday that just passed. Um, and that was at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm fortunate enough to have Faith come with us, but unfortunately Tate had school, so we didn't really want to pull him out of school for uh, an early dating ultrasound. As far as the baby and what went on with the ultrasound, um, the tech did most of the ultrasound. They did have the doctor come in and he explained that there is no bleeding or clotting in my uterus, which is great. Um, the baby seems to be where it's supposed to be, so it's not like anywhere that's concerning. It's my uterus. Um, there isn't any concerns as far as the baby's growth and development. Um, although the baby is um, the baby is measuring a few days behind, but because it's only a few days behind, they're not going to change my due date, and it doesn't really change anything. So um, the possibilities, like they said, is I could have just ovulated a little bit later and not known it. But irregardless, um, I am re measuring a few days behind, which kind of does make sense because I did get a pretty late positive. Um, when I took my pregnancy test, so I would imagine that with me having a B positive and that kind of stuff that I could have um, possibly gotten pregnant a little bit later and maybe that's why the positive wasn't very strong. Also stated that the placenta look seems to be growing perfectly and there's no concerns with the placenta. We also got to hear the heartbeat which was really cool. Um, the tech actually got Faith to stand up and put her hand on her heartbeat and then she started playing with the heartbeat like letting us hear the heartbeat. And Faith just lit up and she was like super excited about it. She thought that was really, really cool. It was really nice to see like her expression and her excitement over the baby because she understands, like she gets that we're having a baby and like she's seen pictures of me pregnant with her and she gets that she was in my belly and that she came out and all that kind of stuff. But you know, she's only four years old so she doesn't really understand and I think it was kind of like opening, eye-opening to her that there is an actual real baby in there to actually see it through an ultrasound. So it was really, really nice to actually see her her reaction to everything as well as Dustin's reaction. That's, um, that's about what she counted. So the she said it was about 152 weeks per minute. That's not like exact obvious. Um, we did get pictures of our baby, um, which I will show you guys. So that's the first one. And this is the baby's heart rate, as well as the baby obviously inside my uterus, but... The place that we did go to for our ultrasound, they do offer 3D, 4D ultrasounds and they're not that expensive. It's like $150. You get, um, from my understanding, you get a 30 minute DVD that's complete of the entire ultrasound. You also get a CD with pictures on it. I'm not sure how many pictures, but you get a CD with pictures on it. You get um, one still photo, you get recording of their heartbeat, um, and a couple other things. I can't exactly remember the details, but it wasn't that expensive, and oh, um, they also do the gender reveal for you. Um, so we were thinking that we are actually going to go with that route this time because this is our last baby. Symptoms this week, my nausea is still kicking my ass, but the vomiting has basically subsided. I think I had one nauseous day this week. so. I haven't done too bad and it's been nice to have the bombing like kind of clear away. 
smell definitely very sensitive to smell and the kitchen is definitely my arch nemesis. I do not like the kitchen. It sucks. Um, it's definitely not one of my favorite places to be and I've been trying to avoid it like a plague. Like I honestly don't even want to go in there. My skin is definitely a hot mess. I've been breaking out everywhere. My boobs are still sore and they still feel full and all that good stuff. Um, bras are still super uncomfortable. So I have also noticed that I've been very bloated this time around, like a lot more bloated. I said that in previous vlogs. Um, I've been a lot more bloated this time around than I was this early on. Like I probably wasn't this bloated, like not noticeably bloated with either of my pregnancies until I hit like at least the 14 to 18 week mark. I'm also very exhausted all the time. I have such a lack of energy. I'm trying to like push through it and still get everything done that I need to get done, but it's definitely been rough. So as far as cravings go this week, I'm still craving fruit, um, especially like watermelon. Like, oh my God, watermelon is delicious. Grapes, strawberries, anything that you can, I can basically get my hands on. Bananas are a great snack. Um, fruit has been like my savior through the beginning of this pregnancy. Um, I also have been obsessed, like I've said in previous vlogs, I've been obsessed with um, raw vegetables, so cucumber and baby carrots are like my ultimate favorite right now. Chicken noodle soup has definitely been my hero this week, um, it's been helping me get through my knot. Anything with cheese has definitely also been a hit with me, anything with cheese, doesn't matter what it is. I've just been craving cheese like crazy. Every single time I eat Caesar salad, I'm like, oh my god, this is the best Caesar salad I've ever eaten. And honestly, they can't all be the best. So I definitely have a huge craving for Caesar salad and it tastes delicious. Aversions this week are just cooked vegetables. That's the only thing that I have tried. I tried again this week to eat it. It is not working with me. So I think I'm done with cooked vegetables. I'm just not even going to try. Uh, I'm going to have to eat a lot more raw vegetables to try to make up for the fact that I am not eating cooked vegetables. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my belly and do my measurements and that kind of stuff. And then that's basically it for this video. I don't suggestions or anything you want to say please don't hesitate to comment and I will make sure that I reply to your comments as soon as I see them um, that's basically everything for this week though I don't think I missed anything so I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys for my 11 week update